Hello there, everybody. My name's Waddles. What's going on? 1.13 added the new best black coolest item in the game, Sea Pickles. I thought it would be a cool idea to try to come up with some creative and decorative lighting ideas using not only Sea Pickles, but new things in 1.13. So today I have 10 decorative lighting ideas for you using new mechanics or new items. Also, real quick before we get into the video, I thought it would be nice to throw this in here, but thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. That is an absurd number in my head, and I'm working on trying to think up some kind of special idea. So thank you so much for that, and it's time to look at the lighting. For the purpose of this video, I've laid out the materials used in each design in the chest next to it so you could replicate it in your own world. Now, a lot of these are a lot more decorative and less intended for survival, lighting up a field or something like this. But tell me which one is your favorite down below, and then tell me one more lighting idea using something new in the comments below as well. The first idea right here is a city lighting design. This design revolves around the new jungle trap door. These doors look like, I mean, those sunken old school sea helmets, but also some kind of fancy lighting thing to me. Now, of course, I'm using sea pickles on the inside, which means you could do a variable lighting level. Meaning, say, you could put three sea pickles on the inside and it's a little bit more dim, or you could go all the way with four, which is what I like to do. On the back design, I'm using a stripped jungle wood block on the bottom, and on the front, I'm using an oak block. So, pretty simple here. It's built like it looks, but I think this could look really nice along a city path, or maybe even like a jungle path or something cool like that. This next concept actually comes straight from the Minecraft subreddit. So, credit to u slash tur1k for this design. This is working off of the new glitch mechanic, I guess you could call it, that you can turn a pressure plate into basically a lever. So what you got to do is put a item frame down on a block and then put the pressure plate on the same block, then walk on it and back up. And then there you go. You've just turned your pressure plate into basically an always on lever. Now this is sort of a glitch right now, so I don't know if this is always going to be a mechanic, but it is a nice way to do an always on redstone lamp. Now of course you could do a daylight sensor on this thing and it would turn off in the day, which is really nice, but it's a whole lot more expensive. So pretty simple to build and a nice little feature that might be gone in the future, so take advantage of it while you have the chance to. Right here is a barrel. I love the new spruce trap doors, as I think everyone else does. It looks, you know, just like a barrel. So I went ahead and threw some sea pickles inside of the barrel, put some spruce wood on the bottom, and then there you go. Uh, pretty simple to build, pretty cool, and this would look really good in like a town market or something like that. And it's a really nice way to hide your lighting. Now, of course, you could go ahead and just throw a jack-o'-lantern on the bottom of this thing or something and then waterlog a trapdoor, meaning something like this. We take our jack-o'-lantern and throw it on the bottom, throw a trapdoor on top of that, and then waterlog that. So there you go. You can't see a single thing, which is really nice. But I mean, sea pickles are pretty awesome. So why don't you want to use those, right? Mm-hmm. That's the best way to do it. Next up, I have an evil lab lighting design. This is using the new bubble column effect as a decoration and also magma blocks as a functional lighting source. So all I have is a torch underneath the magma block to make it super bright. And then up top, another torch behind the magma block to make it bright. And then water in between the two to make the bubble column effect. Then I kind of spruced it up with some glass and stuff. And this is sitting in the corner of what would be probably an evil lab or something like that. This design probably wouldn't make sense on just your everyday house or something like that, but it's just kind of cool. I like the bubble effect, and maybe you could even do like green glass or something creepy and strange to fit the whole lab aesthetic. So this design was intended for a cramped house. Right here is a fish tank that is working as a lighting source. Now I've got a tropical fish in there that is probably pretty bored because it's a tiny tank. I've got some seagrass and then of course sea pickles. Now, this would sit in a wall here, so you have your fish tank with the wool and the glass, or however you want to build it. Then you have the water actually in the wall right there, and then behind it I put some lapis to create a blue water look 
in the wall or <laughs> in the fish tank excuse me so again it's kind of built like it looks and it's just a nice decoration for your house but you will need to plan something on the outside of your house around this thing perhaps i was thinking you could throw a chimney or something like that just in case this thing with cobblestone and have it go up a little bit of a ways to make a chimney something like that to hide the back of your fish tank it might look kind of nice and it will look very nice from the inside with a fish tank Next up over here, I have some sort of mythical strange tree design. Now this is using sea pickles, of course, and then glass panes to hold water in. Then I just went ahead and got creative with the tree on the top right up there. So this is pretty mythical and pretty strange, but it might fit some kind of fantasy realm type of thing. Now when I was coming up with my designs for this video, I was testing out this same concept with the brown mushroom block, and I thought that looked pretty cool too. I'm spamming these panes everywhere but i think this looks just as cool however that's a lot harder to do in survival or at least it would be earlier on in the game or in the world but it still looks pretty cool and it fits the whole mythical theme now you can go ahead and detach the panes of course and they'll hold in the water like that i tried doing some other tricks to hold the water in but this was the easiest right here i have your standard city light hanging over a street or something like that but it's using water and sea pickles so this might work a whole lot better for some kind of ocean town building something like this along the water might complement the water or the ocean a little bit and tie your build all together it's pretty simple i'm just taking some fences and kind of creating a basic little arch then stopping the fences and making a whole little sea pickle container again the nice thing about the sea pickles is the variable light levels that you can do so you could make this really dim or really bright like i'm doing here it's not the prettiest of things you could definitely use a better looking wood color but it's a concept right so you can just kind of take this idea and use it however you see fit now this next idea is not here it's up ahead in the water I'm taking a green stained glass pane and then a sea pickle and basically just making a tiny, tiny little lamp stand or something like that. Now I have the conduit in here just so you can see a whole lot better because this is really dim, but this would look really cool as a decoration. So it does light up a little bit of space, so it's technically lighting, but it's not going to light up a whole lot of space. It just looks really cool to me. I could see this being some kind of lighting along a path leading up to some kind of water temple. Now, of course, you can do this above the water too, but you won't get any lighting and it'll be purely a decoration like that. I just think it looks really cool though. Some kind of guide marker or something. Uh, <laughs> once you start adding pickles though, it, it really messes up. So you need to do one sea pickle with this one. And you could also do brown stained glass and I think that looks kind of cool too. It almost looks like a stem of some kind of weird, odd looking tree, but I, I like the green a lot more. It matches with this whole um, color theme of the sea pickle. Kind of looks cool though. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was pretty happy when I figured that one out. I thought it was pretty cool. Now this one is a fancy city light. However, the lighting is actually down here inside of these trap doors is of course sea pickles now this will actually light up your whole surface area and then you have the decorative lighting up top so it looks like you have glowstone lighting up this whole area but there's a trick of course it's the sea pickles down below now of course you can do this with any type of trapdoor but i thought using these birch trapdoors that don't have any see-through bit in them works really well tried it with the dark oak trap doors but it just looked like a chocolate bar sitting on the ground so i went with the birch now of course you could use any lighting in the top or you could even make some kind of arched lighting just like that one but you have the lighting near the ground so you're getting the best use out of it all instead of up in the air i thought this one was pretty cool as well then finally right here i have a small small little pool of water with some sea pickles in it now of course you can go around the edge and make it a lot more fancy or you could just do something like this to me this looks like something that i would see in a palace or something like that especially if i go around the edge right here with the slabs 
and make it all decorative and fancy. So this idea is a whole lot more decorative and you don't have to use all of the stairs, of course, but when you surround it all the way and then waterlog the stairs, it just looks really, really cool to me. So super simple design here, just water and stairs and some sea pickles. Like I said, I could see this in some kind of fancy temple or something like that, maybe some vacation area, maybe even just on a beach. I don't know, it looks cool to me though, so there you go. But those are my 10 decorative lighting ideas. Did you like them? I hope you enjoyed one of them. Again, credit to you slash Tur1K for this little design here. I thought that was genius when I saw that on the subreddit and just felt like it needed to get shown off. But what do you think? Let me know what you're thinking down below and give me one more creative lighting idea. One idea that I really like that I didn't include in this video is taking sea pickles and throwing them in the water of your farms. That's a really nice way to keep your farms nice and bright. But my name is Waddles. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.